In this video, I'll break down how to install plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you're wondering what plugins are, or what is the purpose of plugins, or what really are plugins just in general, plugins are basically third party extensions that you can download and put them into Final Cut. And basically, as you can see, all these effects right here are plugins. Now, you've been looking at my tutorials or watching other people's tutorials, and you see all these different effects, and you're kind of asking yourself, how in the world do you get all these effects? Did you buy a different version of Final Cut? And no, I bought the same version that you know you bought, but I use plugins. As you can see here, all the plugins. Now, if you're wondering what plugins work, Worth it 1000% plugins are worth it so I would definitely encourage you to buy plugins if you use Final Cut they just they allow you to do things that you just can't natively do in Final Cut as well as they save you a lot of time so plugins are 1000% worth it and plugins just are simply basically I don't know exactly the, the correct definition but they're basically like third party extensions that just allow you to do things in Final Cut that you just natively can't do in Final Cut now the first thing you want to do before you install plugins is you want to make sure you close out Final Cut. So before you do anything, before you install the plugins, just close out Final Cut. Now there are a whole bunch of places to buy plugins, but in this example I'm going to show you how to buy plugins off my digital store. So if I go to my store, the link is going to be down in the description below. As you can see, here are all the digital assets that I have for sale. And I definitely intend on adding some more to my store. So if you have some different ideas, please let me know and I'd love to add some more digital assets. So for this example, we're going to go to Free Slice Transition. So we're going to download the Free Slice Transition. This one is going to cost no money, so we'll just type in zero and then just click on Buy Now. Obviously, if there's a price tag, you're going to have to enter your information. Now, as you can see, I have a coupon code. I'll go ahead and put that down. Down the description below make sure to enter in your email and then obviously check this if you would like to receive news and offers and product updates I'm gonna go ahead and enter this information I'm gonna blur it out because obviously I don't want to show you my email or anything like that but make sure you enter in any information that is required to purchase um, the plugin so as you can see here is the order now what you want to click on is just click on view, uh, view order so basically it's going to email you the link so what you're going to do is you're going to click on download so just download the plugin and then here is a zip file you want to drag the zip file onto your desktop and then in this case we will just close out um, Chrome so it's going to close out Chrome so here is the zip file so just make sure you take the zip file and place it on your desktop you can put in your downloads but in my case I feel like it's a lot more simple just to place it on your desktop so what you want to do is you want to take the zip file and just double click on the zip file. So now we just basically unzipped the file. Now what you want to do is head over to go, go to home, and then you want to go over to movies, double click on movies, and then go to motions templates, open up motions template, go to transitions, and then we're going to drag this slice transition into my transitions. So we're just going to move it and then... There we go. As you can see, go to my transitions. Here is the slice transition. So in this case, we just put it into the transitions folder. Now you may say to yourself, I don't have a motions template folder. Now if you don't have a motions template folder, what you want to do is right click and click on new folder. So you got to create a new folder. So as you can see, motions template folder. So if you don't have this folder, and same with the effects folder, if you don't have these folders, you're going to have to create the folders you know, just by yourself. Now you want to make sure that all of these things are spelled right. So you can see motions template. You want to make sure this is spelled right. And then you want to double click on the effects or in the motions template. And you want to make sure all of these are spelled right now once you create the folders and you make sure they're you know all spelled right there is one really really important thing you have to do you want to take the folder right click on it click on get info and what you want to do is head over here names and extensions and then I'll just kind of drag it over and I'll zoom in as you can see motions template motion templates dot localized you want to make sure this is spelled right you have to make sure that is spelled right so I'll keep it on the screen and make sure that's spelled right now what you want to do is you want to go to all the individual folders and then if I go to get info, as you can see, I will drag it over generators.localize. So let's go over to transitions, get info. As you can see, transitions, oh, you'll bring it over, transitions.localize. You want to make sure that's really, really important. You want to make sure it says transitions.localize. So if this stuff is not working, it's because that dot localized thing is not there. So important, you want to click on get info, names and extensions, and you want to make sure it says dot localized or else it's just not going to work. Now another really important step that you want to do when you're installing plugins is you want to make sure that they're in the correct folder. So every description of, of my plugin should say what folder to put in, but if it doesn't work, let me know and I will try to fix it. But the most important thing to make sure is make sure it's dot, you have the motions template folder, you have these folders, it says dot localized and you want to make sure that the plugins are in the correct folder or else it's not going to work. 
Now another really important part of plugins is making sure you're running the correct version of Final Cut. Now to check it, what you want to do is head over here to Final Cut Pro, about Final Cut Pro, as you can see the version 10.6. The version you're running of Final Cut is really important because it relates to the version of motion the plugin was created in. So if, so for example, if you're wondering how do you create plugins, you create them in Apple Motion. I created these plugins in a certain version of Apple Motion, and in order to use these plugins, you need to have Final Cut 10.6 or above. Now there may be some exceptions, but I wouldn't buy any plugins if you're running lower than 10.6. It might work, there might be some circumstances where it might work, but in my opinion, I wouldn't buy any of my plugins if you're running version 10, if you're, if you're running a version below 10.6. Your version of Final Cut is really important. So the three main reasons your plugin might not be working is your folder structure is not set up correctly, the plugin is not in the correct folder, and the version of Final Cut you are running does not work with the plugin that you're trying to use. Those are the three most important things. Make sure those three things are checked. Make sure it says dot localize the folders are set up correctly. Make sure it's in the correct folder and make sure you're running the correct version of Final Cut. If you're doing all three of those things, 99% of the time the plugin should work. Now there may be some exceptions like maybe your computer just can't run the plugin, but 99% of the time the reason your plugin is not working is because one of those three things are not correct. So make sure you make sure you're aware of the version you're running and make sure all that stuff is checked off before you buy any of the plugins. I guarantee you those things are very, very important. Again, always check the description of the product. I do my best to make sure I, I show you the version of Final Cut in all the description. Point, point, the point of all this is make sure you read the description of the product before you buy a digital product. Now, if you're wondering how to find your plugins, if I go over here, so click on this icon, as you can see here are all your titles here are all of your generators so that is where you find your titles and generators here is your effects so go to the effects panel and then here is the transitions panel so for example i saved it in my transitions here is a slice transition and then just apply the slice transition now in this case we're using a 60 frames per second timeline i'm going to change the duration down to 40 frames so let's play this transition and see if it worked so we're just going to play the video and then just see if the transition worked and then as you can see there we go now you have a really clean slice transition now if you want this transition you can go to my digital store and get it completely for free so there we go you have a really clean slice transition i just think that's a really nice um, transition to have it's available for free on my digital store link in the description now if you're wondering how to delete a plugin what you would do is head over here to go click on home go to your movie section go to your motions template and then find the effect so go to the effect section say you want to delete an effect click on R and animation and then just click on move to trash just in case you're wondering how to delete a plugin you have to actually go into the uh, the uh, effects folder or your transitions folder and you delete the plugin directly from your motions template folder just in case you're wondering how to delete a plugin Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider to hit that subscribe button. Also check out my Final Cut Pro 10 and Motion 5 playlist where there are over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.